gentleman in Compton, California. I'm going to be asking people if they got the COVID-19 vaccine, if they regret it, and how their perception of the media has changed since 2020. Let's go see what people have to say. Today, we're talking about the COVID-19 vaccine. Did you get the vaccine? I uh, sure did. Uh, yes. I did. I did. Yes, I did. What influenced your decision to get it? Um, fear of me getting COVID again because I had COVID. It wasn't fun. I just had confidence in, uh, you know, the system. Uh, because I had to for work. <laughs> well, it was required at my job. I wouldn't have had a job. Work for the used to work for the L uh, Los Angeles Unified School District. I had to think about my family, the future, and being so close to retiring at the time, it wasn't worth the risk. The majority of African Americans do a lot of first responder jobs that their jobs push them to do. I don't think that they, that, uh, nobody wanted to be the guinea pig. I never took the, the COVID nineteen, and I mean, I wash my hands and keep myself together. I don't hang out with knuckleheads. What influenced your decision to not get the vaccine? What was the part about getting it? It's just, you know, just me as a black person, we have home remedies, grandmother's shit. So, hey, man, I rolled that out. Do you regret your decision to not get the vaccine? No, I don't. At the end of the day, guess what? I'm still walking and talking. When they stuck me, like, my soul jumped out. I want to show you one clip from the media and get your reaction to it. Is that sound all right? Our data from the CDC today suggests, um, you know, that, that vaccinated people do not carry the virus, don't get sick. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. Do you trust her? Uh, no. <laughs> That's not true, because um, even after I got the vaccine, I still did get COVID, but it just wasn't as bad. So I, I don't think that's true. That's why I still say be skeptical of our government. Black man, black woman, black people, period. Don't trust nobody in your, in your suit, man. Well, most black people don't trust anybody. They just just think everybody's out to get us. So. Do you think more Americans should be skeptical of the government and media? Always, yeah. But um, definitely always do your own research. Knowing what you know now, would you still get the COVID vaccine if you got to do it again? Well, if it was an outbreak like, like this, you know, like it was the last time, of course. Uh, yeah, I kind of regret getting invested. Tell me why. Uh, I feel like I had my three grandparents pass away, and I just, I just feel that it has something to do with that. I wasn't happy about it. I don't like anybody really making decisions for me. You know, I mean, especially when we live in a society where it's supposed to be free choice. Do you think the media did a good job delivering truth to the people? I don't think the media does a great job of delivering truth. I think the media does a great job of agendas. That's a good question, because I didn't even pay attention to none of it. Uh, they did. I, I, great job. It was great marketing. <laughs> They've played the point of trying to get ratings. They've played the role of setting a certain agenda, setting a certain tone, um, and not really being true to the facts. But us as black folks, it's home remedy, boss. Up here. It's home remedy, man. Hey, hey man, man. Appreciate it, man. For sure, big dog. That's a wrap for this one. In comp All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, HaRachachodash. <clears throat> Double honors to our apostles and elders. Very great millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole Lord's hopefully elect. Keep my words short here. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now, for the thousandth time, even more than that, okay? The, the book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 on down, talks about a mark of the beast, which is going to be linked into that hour of temptation that's going to come and try the whole world. As it says, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score 6. That word there, mark, in the <clears throat> Greek, wrong one.
Greek word charagma, which means a stamp and imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or right hand as a badge of the followers of the anti-Messiah. A thing carved, right? So something that's going to be cut inside. When it says here, 603 score six, three Greek words, shy, shy stigma, which the Greek uh, stigma um, being, let's see, stigma, a mark pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name of their stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. And the example of this word being used is Paul in Galatians 6.17. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Yahweh Shai, the Karagma. So it's talking about something physical. We're here to tell you that that mark is the RFID microchip, which stands for radio frequency identification. That is becoming very, very popular now because of the NFC, which means near field communications. The beast, which is the Roman Empire system, which today is America and NATO, which the EU is included, will push this out. We believe that it's going to be by Donald. Well, I'm sorry, let me. I believe I'm saying I believe it's going to be by Donald Trump and that guy uh, Elon Musk. Those are just going to be people who's going to help push it as well, pass the legislation, etc. Uh, but regardless, these uh, whoever is going to be in charge or whoever the president may be is going to be able is going to push that, and just as they did before in the year twenty. 2019 up to what to 2021 just as these people were met with the same ultimatums uh, you will have to make another decision right the hour of temptation will come upon all the world and what we're here to tell you is that the one commodity as you could say the one rich the true riches that you need to invest in is your faith because that's all you're going to have in that day. I had to think about my family. Because let me tell you something. As much as you all want this to be the case. It's not going to be the case. But the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, Will not take any excuses in that day. A lot of you want, want to be ignorant of this. You want to be ignorant. You want it to be so-called blindside you. So that it'll make your decision that much easier. Because then you'll just have your excuses. Oh, I had to think about my family. Oh, I was so close to retirement. Oh, my life. I was afraid. I didn't want to die. You know, maybe if I would have known, then maybe I would have. It ain't going to work because the Lord is going to make sure this message reached the four corners before he brings it. And in that day, you won't have an excuse. All you're going to have is your faith. And if you choose not to invest in it, then in the long run, you are going to be caught off guard and you're going to be screwed. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is his treasure. It's the fear of the Lord, not fear of man, not fear of the beast, not fear of losing a job. That, the fear of the Lord, that is our treasure. That is what allowed us to maneuver and get through those hard times just fine some some of the, our situations even got better because of it after suffering losses i'm an example of that my life situation got better since my place job at the time inconvenienced me and i went out in faith and i'm in a better position and that's a testament to myself and my f family members and all those who who looked at me crazy. Sirach 27 and 3. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house 
shall soon be overthrown. You have to have diligent faith. Proverbs 24, 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. This is a part of building your house upon a rock to withstand the floods, the rains, the tempests, because it's going to keep beating upon that house, which represents you, your body, your mind. And unless you have the fear of the Lord to be able to withstand in that day, you will be overcome by fear. And then you will be marked for destruction. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, or received his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That is the judgment for taking that no excuses is going to fly. But, 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 but the Lord will want me to because the, the, the Lord know I'm retiring next year. The Lord know I got a family. The Lord knows that I worked so hard to get here and I spent my whole life to get here. He knows how much I sacrificed for this. You're going in the lake of fire. All right. And you don't listen to the false prophets who are teaching you. Not to look forward to the true, uh, the, the, to the chip and telling you is something else because that day is going to catch you unawares. Those are the same ones that told you to go ahead and take the jab. Okay. If by now you don't realize that you can't trust them and they're false prophets, you're setting yourself up for failure. Shalom.